Okay, we are back for some aisle two action. I'm gonna jump and then finish. I am feeling a little under the weather. So if my voice sounds a little weak or a little scraggly, that would be why. I have yet to get tested for COVID. Could be our dear friend, Tom of the Cron. But I'm feeling more or less okay. It's just kind of a mild cold symptoms. So I don't know. I think it's a pretty early plane set here in Finnish. Uh, which is probably going to put me in either a Hurricane or a Mark V Spitfire. We'll see how things are looking. I'm going to at least begin by probably just flying a defensive cap. Oh, I'm looking at the map and trying to make a decision. Number two, Front Depot looks... Actually, a lot of these look like these. If I was German, I'd be eyeing some of these targets out here because... Uh, really hard to defend and really easy to get to. So maybe I'll spawn this temporary fly out that way and... See what happens. Yeah, this is early, early plane set. Wow, so yeah, hurricane it is. I wonder what mods are even gonna be available. Hmm. I can get the Hispanos. Well absolutely. In the Merlin. This isn't bad. I didn't really know there was a plane set uh that existed with Mm -hmm. uh, Hispanos and no Spitfire uh, I'm going to go a little further out with Cannon I'm trying to get 250, 260's fine okay let's jump in and head west this will only take a moment okay Alright, looks alright. Engine on, mixture full. I think that doesn't matter in a hurricane. Prop pitch full. Throttles working. We'll open the water radiator one click there. Get my head in the right spot. Like just a dirt field here. Hello there, yak. You may notice I've added uh, some instruments to the instrument panel. Having a little fun with that. Trying to give a little bit more visibility into the things that are going on now on a hurricane. I mean, realistically, I won't be using many of those, those buttons. Please don't run me over, Yak. Throttling up. Open it up all the way. Nose is coming over. Building speed. Let's try and get off the ground here. Ah, oh, yes. Gear up. We'll come to the left. To put her on a westerly heading, probably probably a slightly northwesterly heading. Then sight out to just under 300 yards. A yard is shorter than a meter, therefore there are more of them. So if I'm at 260 meters, I'm going to need to be somewhere around 280 to 300 yards. That's some very rough approximations there, but I'm not going to be, uh, I, I mean, I use the gun sight for an approximate ranging meter, and that's about the sum of it, so that should be okay. And about now, I want to come back, my engine setting is 2850. 
boost for 10 is fine. I'll keep it in combat. Try to trim it up a little bit. You can see it's taking quite a bit of trim to get this to kind of hold the nose climb. Well, until I start to build speed, then I've got to sort of trim against it. Alright, for the most part, things looking pretty good here. Northwest from temporary. I better watch my six because there is somebody lighting up the airfield back there. Wouldn't that be delightful? Just get bolts right off the bat here. anything but that doesn't necessarily mean a lot. Don't see anybody on. Oh, it's tanks it's marking, not the temp field. Okay, I should be fine. I should be just fine. Let me get back on a western heading. I'm getting a little... Eh, maybe it's fine. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a stutter. Let me try something. See if it helps. Sometimes making sure that the game has focus helps deal with some micro stuttering. Doesn't seem to be doing much for me this time, but really try and lock down the eye position. I'm left eye dominant so eyes line up so that my sort of neutral position has my left eye lined up with the Radical. Alright, at some point here I'm going to need to navigate. Probably before I get above cloud. So if I'm flying there, just play that river. Front Depot is kind of right where the river takes a turn to the north. It should be kind of right in front of me. So before I get above these clouds, I'm going to just Quick look if I can find the front depot here. There's a clearing in the clouds, I'll go ahead and climb here, I think. I do like to fly with a canopy open in a hurricane. The canopy of the hurricane is a bit, uh, Lunky. It's got that bar across that happens to be almost right on eye level. Coming up on 10k. Scanning. Trying to get eyes on that depot. No dice though, and now I'm over the clouds. 
Now, the Hurricane, I'm probably not going to go much, much, much higher than this. Not at all an altitude fighter. There's that airfield. I recognize that. I see where the um, depot should be, but I do not see the depot itself. Thumbs up. Very strange. All right, drop no. Uh, let's see, so from here, pick up this river and follow it, sort of north, northwest. And this is nice, right about here. Can kind of look out and watch the river, see the river, and see my instruments. I'm holding just above 11,000 feet. And just a little more to the right. Just a little more to the right, I think. Thus far, no indication of ground attack anywhere. I'm actually sort of thinking that the map might have rolled pretty recently because none of the uh, objectives looked to be uh, down yet. A little more. I didn't really look at rudder trim, but I might want to put that just a little bit too. Trim flying nice and coordinated. Clouds looking fine, absolutely fine. Small and scattered uh, today. It's like medium cover, but they're small clouds. Very good. Okay, when I reach this river, it actually isn't that far to the target. And I'm sort of thinking to hang out at this top because if either of the others light up, I can maybe get there in time. Might be a little close, but a bunch of guys over there. Those are fights I'm not real interested in having. This is the number one station. It is right on the river, lower half of the river, southern half. It should be right there on sort of that left grouping of buildings. I might have just said left and not even thought about it. Yeah, I see it see the station and some of the some of the buildings. So I'm going to come back now to 2650. Now that I'm sort of here, give my engine some breathing room. Four boost, 2650 prop. And I'm just going to sort of hang out here and watch for indication of ground attack, because this really seems like the obvious place for baddies to go. Because it does, it takes a minute to get up here, they could almost get here faster. In particular, the number one rear depot would be 
smart-ish target for them. But any the other factor is the German players are sort of not always really here for the ground attack. They like to get into the uh, dog fights, which you can't hold it against them. They got good dog fighter planes, but not how you win the uh, win the map. It's like anything; you got to play the objective. And just like um, the wars, the objectives are on the ground. There's nothing in the sky that's actually needing to be shot down other than aircraft that are uh, targeting the ground. So it all comes back to objects on the ground. That is something I like an awful lot about the Finnish server. won and lost by what happens on the ground and even as a fighter pilot that means my play for the team needs to center around ground support whether that's protecting bombers if we get a big enough group of folks going in or if that's defending our targets might not always be the most glamorous But it's the uh, it's the objective that matters here. So. Rolled really quite recently. So now what I want to do is watch pretty carefully for notifications relative to enemy activity. I'm already no big surprise there. So for me, that's west and a little south, actually. So I'm going to put that way as fast as a hurricane can, which, to be fair, is not terribly fast. Is that a contrail or a reflection? I think it's a reflection. Okay. All I can do is hope that, you know, no faster than me, which, yeah. he very well could be, but maybe he'll loiter, I assume that he'll feel pretty sick, sort of regardless of whether or not he is, which may prompt him to stay, so... I'm try and get over there quick. I'm, I'm a little nose heavy. You can see me trimming that out. Because as I get faster and the nose wants to come back up, I'm getting more lift from my wings for more speed. So I'm constantly sort of having to trim against that. So I see this river comes down. There's an offshoot from it. that offshoot basically goes okay, there's, a, there's a village oh bomb blast okay what is here then ah taking pretty heavy flat all right gotta come up 2850 full power. We got eyes on him. Or at least eyes on something. Multiple somethings? Now this could be interesting then. Let's work on climbing a little. Else. He's hit and running though. Should not have taken eyes out here. Definitely German there. Interestingly, fighter? 
That will have hurt him pretty good, actually. A couple rounds of spandle. He's still flying, though. Yeah, if he turns, that's a big help to me. Not so much if he does that. Boom. Okay. North is the direction I want it to fly from here. The quick six check. Seems like he was alone. And he had some tricks. He was timing those really nicely too. And right as I was getting guns on, he would just go berserk, but... He was pretty disadvantaged and I uh, stuck it to him. try to re regain altitude. I threw a lot after that guy. Which was a little risky, to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and open this back up. I think that I'm pretty safe. Famous last words sometimes, but things look pretty quiet. Now you can run boost on this thing for like an hour, and I don't have anywhere close to that much time. So, two, one, six, up here. I'm going to start circling around and kind of stay in the area. I still got plenty of rounds. I didn't shoot that much at him. Gunnery, well, not not my best ever. It was okay. I made shots count. So. He was a jinker, though. The famous loot wobble. Interesting to see it actually in a 109, but the main thing with that is just to be patient. It is a really frustrating man maneuver because I strongly doubt that real life pilots would have done it. I think it would have banged them around the cockpit a little too much. But it has consequences, specifically your energy state. So as long as you're patient, they're slowing themselves down. They're not going to get away. That's the thing. So eventually they run out of altitude. So you just kind of got to 
stay above them, keep harassing. I mean, that's what I always find I'm worried about when I see somebody start doing that. Like, oh, they're gonna get away. And I'm gonna lose them. And that's gonna be the end of the world. Which is not true, even if they do escape, if you survive, that's better than let them reverse you and, and then get into real trouble. But, um, more often than not, you sort of let them go. They've burned a lot of speed and energy to pull that maneuver. And then they're slow, so even though they're flying away from you and look like they're escaping, they don't got the speed, most likely. Now, the German planes are generally a lot speedier than the Allied planes. So there's that, they can accelerate pretty quick. And so if there's too much distance, they may just escape, but probably not gonna happen. Alright. I am surprised to have found a 109 as opposed to a 110. Now maybe he was fighter cover to a 110 that I just never saw. Entirely possible. Yeah, I'm gonna stop climbing and come back. Come back on on the jeep. in particular is not a real fast airplane but it turns just it just drifts I love that about about this plane so if somebody starts pulling maneuvers like that I mean he'd, he'd have been better off just trying to straighten out and run because he's fast he gets into a turn like that with me and I'm just gonna slide in behind him hold the inside of his turn with you know, relatively no negative impact. But, but, knock him out. Now his loose wobble kept it from being quite that clean, but. slow down now I've got uh, dinner in the oven so I've got about 10 minutes and I need to RTB to try and beat the oven timer here <laughs> so we're playing a dangerous game I mean, if I go home with nothing more than that one fighter, that's all right. It's fine with me. I'm really wondering who that first contact was. I didn't get a good look at him. I saw he was streaming, and he flew right by me. I thought I recognized him as a, a hurricane, which is sort of why I was like more interested in the guys that looked lower and um, a little more dangerous but I'm really not sure I mean, it may have been a damaged 109 on the run but this thing quite look like a 109 so that's what made me think maybe a hurricane maybe he had tangled with the uh, with the 109 and but the entanglement didn't go super well went to quantum if you were and he was just trying to get home and 
And if that's the case, then maybe I saved him from, from an aggressor. Oh, that's me. Number one rear depot. Shouldn't be the same guy back again already, so I've got that going for me. But I do need to keep an eye out at many altitudes here. My assumption is south. I'm really in kind of an awkward spot here. I'm like pointed. Oh, there he is. I see him. Really low on the deck. I don't see anyone above him. Uh, I've lost eyes on him now. There he is. Okay, I'm going to chop the bottle. Follow him up. Obviously, too late to, in to intercept and keep him from doing damage. The damage has been done. Sort of looks like another single engine, believe it or not. Which means he may be trying to get out in a hurry. to compress. One oh nine. Odds are he spotted me. Follow back up. But maybe not. He's done. I'm going to try to bail. I couldn't tell if you made it out or not. I salute you. Ride with honor. I don't want to climb up. Just because I'm feeling particularly vulnerable, I'm probably fine, but I don't feel fine. And I'm gonna start directing this home as well, I think. Just smoldering pile there. Poor guy. I mean, he had no warning, I just lit him on fire. I was actually a little bit proud of the shot. <laughs> For being somewhat unpracticed. Alright, he's up on the boost. You can only do that for not very long. Ooh, exciting stuff. Easy pickings, really. Oh, what the world? Red flare. Where from? Now I'm scared. I'm nervous because I don't see who would have fired that, and then in the area of now I'm worried about getting jumped by a friendly or something I haven't seen any notification for uh, unfriendlies in this area but let's just keep an eye on my surroundings somebody's here and popped off a red flare that feels like it can only mean a few things. What on earth will 
is a red flare over there. It's just so bizarre. Yet there is still anyone coming for me. And I do have a rather long flight ahead of me to get back home. So I'm going to try. To make it there in one piece. Corner. Just follow this law. Basically, basically on the right heading. Climbing a little faster than is probably necessary. Ten thousand is plenty for me. Just worried about getting sniped from behind. But I think there'd be some kind of warning going off if there's baddies around. The red flare just really threw me off. Trimming. And you trim just to get the very most speed that you can. Honestly, I probably should have looked at my water radiator a little sooner than just now. I'm going to open it up one tick, but that seems a little on the hot side. Hopefully I don't lose it. Also pull back a little bit. Trim for the difference in torque. Probably gonna slow down a little, but prioritize making it home. Okay, tempo's coming down. Sometimes it's fighting the machine, but I mean, that's kind of what makes the long flights like this interesting. Gives you something to do, trying to optimize it. There we go, four, flat and level. Yeah, I'm... I'm like hands off stick and throttle here other than push and talk and I'm sitting pretty good. Starting to rotate a little bit. If I had aileron trim now might be a time to use it, but that's alright. That's pretty good. So I'm hoping as I go along here that eventually I'll pick up this winding river. Alarm just went off for food, so I've got 10 minutes to make it back to base or die, I guess. I'm hoping I'm not gonna die though. 
Okay, there's a river. Could that be the river of interest? Probably is. Yeah, I think so. So that basically goes all the way where it dips down there. Okay, I see where our home base is. It's a little ways away. Especially at hurricane speed. That's a pretty long flight. I'll go out. So we'll go just a touch nose heavy. about 220 kind of slow for reference a Mustang you can cruise like 310 320 but this is an early uh, early plane before the days of the Mustang or later Spitfires which Spitfire is by no means a speedy airplane. The Griffin, um, or the 14, Arc 14 isn't, isn't a slouch. They're not really fast, good maneuvering planes. And that's really their sort of thing. Okay. I'm going to start dipping down below clouds to just make sure that I'm able to see where I'm going here. Pick up a little speed along the way. Pimp's looking good. Engine should be fine then. Just going to try and get down under this first cloud here. I can see my approach. I know I took off to the northeast, mostly east. There's a city in there. Where is it really? The city. Oh, come on. Stop wanting to drop. Plane that does not want to land. I suspect it's sort of in there. I'm really just trying to get eyes on it here so I know where to put down. on. I may want a rudder brake here. Eh, it's slowing down pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help it out a little bit because yeah, I'm still pretty high. 3,000 feet. Okay. I'm 
the 1,000 feet and start giving it a little bit of flat. trying to find a flap indicator here. More flap. Watch this guy. He may or may not be paying attention. Yep, somebody's back there. I don't like it for that. I will not be able to do anything about it. Smooth as gravy, on time, two kill. Smashing success. I lost focus on the game for a minute there. Yeah, two kills, very nice. Just trying to keep the number one rear depot safe. That's a long flight though. But I, I guessed right what their strategy would be. I mean, it's a logical strategy. They're literally closer to it than our nearest airfield. So, of course, that's where they're going to go. I would, I would do the same thing if I was a ground attacker and um, had a brain. So, <laughs> anyway, all right. Enough. Logging off, could go eat.